What is up, you guys? Sports. Welcome to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours truly, of course, the Scarender. And today we're going up against Dennis, who are a Twitch follower and a Twitter follower, of course, on well, on Twitch, and Twitter. Hey. So yeah, when I game in the UU tier now, I designed a team in UU which are not as meta. Uh, I really just wanted to use a few mods I really like. Those being Brice Young, Grand Bull, Noivern, and Agron, and pretty much Tentacruel and Galvangel were filler. But basically, I wanted to use a team that, like I said, not as meta, but still fun to use. Now, I do believe this team has a big Mammo issue that comes with pretty much every team in UU. If you don't design for Mammo Spawn, you're gonna have a bad time. So thank you, Dennis, for the Mammo. <laughs> so yeah, this is, like I said, his team here is really, really, really good. Like, this is definitely up there about the, pretty much a higher tier standard place. So definitely lo loving his team with Selmans, Mammo, Swine, Dewblade, Crawdont, Whimsicott, and Chevalion. Now, having that in mind, I really didn't have any like proper plans going in. All I was thinking that was that Cobellion could be a possible lead, and Cobellion could just set up rocks. That was pretty much about it. Like the biggest issue here for me is obviously um, Mammo. So if I solve that, then I might win. If I don't solve that, I will lose. It's pretty much that simple. Like I shard is actually killing my whole team. Kind of feels like that at least. I need Aggron to kill Mammo. If not, then you know I'm gonna definitely lose. So, anyway, with all this in mind, guys, let's see how this battle went. So, alright. Um, like I said, I really didn't think, or, you know, what could be the best lead possible, because his team has a lot of mods that are good. So he leads with Cobalion, which is good, because that means at least that I've predicted somewhat right. But the thing is here, I am Specs, um, Galenshila, so I'm just gonna go for Volt Switch, and that does so much damage. Had I gone for a Thunder, I might as well have killed it, actually. So I'm gonna go to Gwendol, knowing that if it goes for close combat, or more likely Iron Head, at least, you know, it's pain down. But he goes for Stealth Rocks. Of course he goes for Stealth Rocks. I was like, oh shit, really? And he's gonna show me the leftovers. And here's the thing. Cobalion, do have to intimidate, cannot really hurt me too much. And to go for Volt Switch doesn't necessarily hurt at all. And, um, well, things get kind of nasty fast, don't they? So he's gonna go to the Dewblade. Can't touch the Dewblade. Because it's a dew blade, so player off is probably gonna tickle it a bit. But yeah, I need to get out. I can't touch this guy. But I have a few mods that possibly could. Uh, but Santa Cruel was pretty much the safer here because in case you go for an iron head at least, I can soak that or tell with skull. Now he'll actually pull a double on me. Go to random Japanese name, which is the Salamence. And here is where I probably do a bit of a jump play, to be honest, because I don't have Ice Beam on this. I have Rapid Spin, I do believe, and there's Skulls, Blacks, or Sludge Bombs. I was thinking that his double did not pay off, because I had, could have Ice Beam, and uh, I'd basically win for Skull. But yeah. No. <laughs> so he goes with Draco, I was like, alright. Um, MRO is pretty much dead after that, and the crit did not help. So I'm just gonna go to Wilfred with his wrist jump, because I'm. Um, offensively, yes, but at the same time, uh, since it is, of course, minus two, this Draco shouldn't hurt too much, at least. So that's something I'm going with, and the Draco still does a lot. So that's my fault. So anyway, seeing that, he's probably going to switch out. I'm going to pull a double on him and go to Galvatron, the Agron, to get him my free Mega Evolution. I was really hoping he didn't bring anything that could take me on properly. And uh, luckily for me, he goes to Kunsagi, which is a Zoo Blade, which can't necessarily touch me. He could go for Sacred Sword, sure, or Secret Sword. No, Sacred, no. Yes, Sacred Sword. Anyway, uh, so he goes for Intimidate, that's alright. I go for the Mega Evolution, and here's the thing. I do pack the Avalanche, if I remember correctly. So all I was thinking was, hurt me, hurt me, hurt me, hurt me, and I can retaliate back. Now he goes for Fire Blast, I was like, ah oh, shit, this is gonna sting. And it does sting, but so... Oh, actually, that Ice Punch. Never mind. Still kills him, though. So... So there's Salmon's out of the way, which is kind of nice, but damn, my Aggron took way too much damage. And it also means that this Mammo is just so goddamn dangerous right now. There's really nothing I can do. So I'm gonna bring Gwendol. All I can do here is go for Intimidate, hoping that it's an area of HP where at least somebody else can come in and revenge kill it. So he goes for the Earthquake, and it does... Bit too much, but it looks like after leftovers I should be able to take another one. So I was thinking, all right, get the damage and then fall. Basically, let's go for another earthquake, and it takes me out. So, ugh, damn it! <laughs> but that was a risk, obviously, I was willing to take. 
So anyway, I'm gonna decipher which of course being a Galvantula, knowing he must switch out since the energy ball is coming. I'm gonna go for a Thunder. And that was a risky play, but luckily for me he went to Kusagi. And the Thunder will will pretty much annihilate this guy. The thunder does just about enough. Sadly, I don't kill him. And since Shadow Sneak is a thing, I'm going to switch to Galvatron because I really can't I can't risk it. I, just, I simply can't. And he actually going to switch out. And he probably suspected that I was, of course, the um, specs at this point. So he can freely, sadly, go for Earthquake. That's gonna take out Galvatron. I can't risk it with, of course, my Noivern because Noivern falls to Eye Shot afterwards since I don't pack Yosha Berry. And all I can do now is go back to Cypher because at least now Eye Shot does not hopefully kill us, I should say. So I'm just gonna go for Bug Bus because Whimsicott is definitely gonna come in. There is just, that is his switch into this. And, um,. All I can hope is that I do enough damage to KO it. So here I was thinking, hopefully it isn't max speed since we see leftovers, which means I can kill it. But unlucky for me, while he has leftovers, he's still a fast leftover set, which is strange. But then again, he got me off guard, so that actually works. So good job, that is. That was very, very nice, and obviously my fault for letting it fall. Now I couldn't switch out on it, I simply couldn't, for one reason, sadly, and that is that. I have to Stealth Rock, Eye Shard do take us out with the Mammoth Swine, which means he pretty much got, got us anyway. And I was thinking Liquidus might kill it, I would, that was what, what I was going for. Sadly that did not pay off, <laughs> that would have been great. Kill the Tentacruel or the Whimsy God with that of course. So anyway, all I can do now is go to Sildor Neuvern, which has the wrong HP, I can just see right now. So since there is really nothing I can do, all I have to do here is just lock myself into Flamethrower. Since that actually kills his whole team, but like I said, due to Ice Shard and Mammo, I simply can't win. So I do lose this game, I do believe Trio, but it actually was a very interesting game. Like I do believe I you know, held myself up, up high or above the water quite quite long actually. So while there's of course a Trio victory in my opponent's favor, I still had a blast here. And here's the thing, you know, when you use teams that are, well, weaker than the meta suggests, you're always gonna face opponent that does the game well, and Genesis is definitely one of those players. So for me it's actually kinda healthy to go up against that, because that means at least I get to try, you know, I get to fail test the team and see, you know, what what am I missing. And I was actually, yeah, to be honest here, I was being a bit, a bit oblivious to, you know, obviously how threatening Mammoth Swine really, really is. And I, I only can say this, Mammoth Swine just solves things, and it solves things well. Uh, so sadly I have to accept that this is not a heavy meta base team, and that is quite right. But I also have to make some necessary fixes, obviously one of them being, well, to be honest, one of those fixes are pretty much Bronzong. Like, Bronzong solves that for the time being, but then we have you know, the usual things with our of course, Sylveon, which could be dealt with Bronzong, but then comes the ne next issue, Conkildur. I don't know how to play around that one, I simply don't. But those are the things that are threatening in UU, and luckily my opponent here showed me the way. And to the next, you know, GG and whatnot, because I actually enjoy this game quite a lot. And for everybody else, thank you of course for watching, and I'll see you next video with of course the same team. Until then, take care.